Dear students, in the previous session, we learned about loss of profit, how to identify compensation period, gross profit ratio and short sales. Assume you are all insurance companies and you are here for an inspection after fire. I am saying this is my net profit, you are agreeing. This is expenditure covered by policy, you are agreeing. And then I am saying after the fire, I incurred an additional 50,000 rupees. Now the question was, I am incurring certain expenses after fire which were never incurred in the past. There is no possibility of insuring it. Will you compensate the expenses which was not there in policy? You are saying, sir, we will not compensate. My response, I am a business owner who was terribly harmed by the fire. My business premises were completely destroyed. It will take another three months to complete the reconstruction or reorganization. During the same three months, the previous year, I made 8 lakh sales. This business was completely destroyed and I was only able to sell 1 lakh worth of goods. So, thereby, how much sales I lost? 7 lakhs. My gross profit ratio is 30 percentage. So, how much would the insurance company compensate me? 7 lakhs into 30 percent equal to 2 lakhs 10,000. You are saying, Extra expenditure will not be compensated, whatever the story you tell sir. I am telling insurance companies that a nearby building is currently unoccupied. I can hire the building for 3 months for which I have to pay rent of 50,000 for all 3 months together. I can generate sales up to 5 lakhs if I hire the building. Will you compensate me 50,000? Still you are saying we will not compensate sir. If you won't compensate, you should pay me. 2 lakhs 10,000 rupees. Otherwise, I will hire the place provided you pay me 50,000. If I rent the space, I will make a sale up to 5 lakhs. Now, how much sales I will lose? 3 lakhs. Don't think extra 5 lakh sales I will make. Total sales 5 lakhs. So, sales lost 3 lakhs. 3 lakhs into 30 percent equal to 90,000. Insurance company have to compensate 90,000 plus 50,000 equal to maximum 1,40,000. You should pay 1,40,000. Now you decide you want to give me 2,10,000 or 1,40,000. Now insurance company convinced as a result the insurance company also compensate certain expenses which have never been incurred in the past which is not at all insured still insurance company is ready to compensate because insurance company getting benefits you may ask one question Anna. sir why incur additional expense in any case you don't incur also businessman get 2 lakh 10000 compensation the question now is why the businessman is willing to hire that place because no businessman wants to lose his customers. Maybe the insurance company will compensate you for the next three months. If I allow my regular customers to visit my competitors, they will become accustomed to their service and will never come back to us. I don't want to lose my customers, but at the same time, there is a benefit for the insurance company. Let us share the game. Don't say that if insurance company says, don't say that we'll just give that gross profit ratio on short sales 3 lakhs into 30 percent 90,000 then I will irritate better give me 2 lakh 10,000 as a result insurance companies are encouraging me to spend additional expenditure in order to increase my sales of the fire for which insurance company agreed to compensate so in addition to this gross profit we will compensate one extra item through this policy which is known as additional expenditure or increased working expenditure or increased cost of working or increasing working costs. From the viewpoint of a businessman, he is not losing any of his regular customers. In the eyes of the insurance company, reducing the claim amount. So in this policy, there are two claims. Claim for gross profit ratio on short sale, claim for increased working expense or claim for additional expenditure or claim for increased working costs. Now the question arises, sir, is there any ceiling limit for additional expenses? Yes. Claim for additional expenses. Claim will be least of the following. Additional expenses incurred. Additional expenses into 
gross profit on AAT divided by gross profit on AAT plus uninsured standing charges. Gross profit on sales generated due to additional expenses. Claim will be lower of the following. What is AAT? AAT is called Adjusted Annual Turnover. These students generally turnover means what? Nana? Sales. Now the question I raise is which sales we should consider, sir? It's very simple. Nana. Annual turnover means sales during 12 months immediately preceding to the date of fire. Sales during 12 months immediately preceding to the date of fire. Example. Fire occurred on 1st May 2022. Now, I want 12 months sale. I want AAT adjusted annual turnover. Which sales I should take? 12 months immediately preceding to the date of fire. So, that is from 1st May 2021 to 30th April 2022. Claim for loss of profit. Total 8 steps. Step number 1. Compensation period, indemnity period or interruption period, whichever is earlier. How long the insurance company will compensate? Indemnity period or interruption period, whichever is earlier. Step 2. Short sales. Sales loss during the corresponding compensation period of previous year plus or minus trend will get the expected sales during the compensation period of current year less actual sales the resulting figure is the short sales step number three gross profit ratio gross profit ratio equal to gross profit divided by sales into 100 here gross profit means what nana net profit plus insured standing charges next one step number four gp on short sales step number four gross profit on short sales short sales into gross profit ratio step number five gross profit on adjusted annual turnover adjusted annual turnover annual turnover plus or minus trend will get the adjusted annual turnover what do you mean annual turnover sales during 12 months immediately preceding the date of fire so gp on aat equal to adjusted annual turnover into gross profit ratio step number six claim for additional expenses claim will be list of the following additional expense incurred additional expense into gross profit on aat divided by gross profit on aat plus uninsured standing charges see gross profit on sales generated due to additional expenses step number seven gross claim GP on short sales plus claim for additional expenses less savings in insured standing charges add firefighting expenses will get the gross claim. Eighth step average clause will be applicable if the profit is under insured. Under insurance means the policy amount being less than GP on AAT. So whether policy is under insured or over insured compare policy amount with GP on AAT. If average Class is applicable, net claim will be calculated as gross claim into policy amount divided by GP on AAT. If average clause is not applicable, then gross claim equal to net claim. Dear students, we will learn in detail while solving the problem. Dear students, I have already gone over each step in detail from, from step 1 to step 6. While solving the sums, we will go over step 7 and 8 in detail.